Hi, welcome to this presentation. This is Paul Fru from O10 Engineering Services. And this presentation is about electrical power. If you want to contact us, you can email us at o10.engineering at tapenewsouthwales.edu.au or you can phone us on 02-9715-8469. You can uh, like us on Facebook, O10 Electro Technology, or follow us on Twitter, O10 Electrical. So let's begin. So what is power? So let's look at our basic circuit here. That's our voltage source. So does it have power? That's our fuse. Does it use power? Our switch, does that use power? The load, which has resistance, does that use power? OK, so here we go. So this is the device or component that uses power in our electrical circuit. The resistor in this circuit here converts electrical energy to radiant energy, and that is heat and light. But you may have a vacuum cleaner or a, or a blender which converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. So any device which is converting energy from one source to another, and especially in our electrical circuit, from electrical energy to another source, it is regarded as power, or using power, or have a power rating. So the fuse will have a voltage rating and current rating. The resistor, the load will have a power rating at a certain voltage rating. So power is the rate at which work is done, or energy is expended, or being converted. So what is the work being done here? So we have pressure in our circuit, we have flow, so the pressure times our flow gives us a power, which is voltage times our current. So the equation that we're going to use to work out power is P equals V times I. Power is measured in watts. And we use the symbol W. So P is the algebraic symbol, what we use in the equation, but measured in watts. So if you get a resistor or even your toaster at home or anything that uses power, you'll see a W on there. That's the amount of power that's being used. So P equals V times I. Now we can also derive two other equations from that. Now remember Ohm's law V equals I times R. So if we now replace the V with the I times R. We now have P equals I times R times I. So the I R in the brackets is representing the V. Now if we do that, we're going to get I times I gives us I squared and R. So another way to work out the power equation is using P equals I squared times R. We can do the same thing by using the I, or taking the I out of the equation and using the Ohm's law equation we used before, I equals V divided by R. So we have P equals V times V divided by R. That V divided by R is representing the current. So if we now go V times V, that gives us V squared on R. Now you're not going to be asked to memorise how we actually got those equations. All you need to know is that we've got three ways of now of working out power. That's V times I, I squared times R, or V squared over R. And it's good to have alternative methods because you may work out a calculation and you can just double check yourself by using another equation. So let's start. We looked at before, if we doubled the voltage, we doubled the current, and we said that was directly proportional. But what about power? Is it directly proportional to voltage or current or resistance? We're not too sure. So we're going to do some equations in this presentation to show you. Now remember resistance, if we increase resistance there, it's inversely proportional to current. But what about power? If we change the resistance, how does that affect power? So let's start off with an example. We've got 10 volts, we've got 1 amp, and we've got 10 ohms. So we've got I equals V divided by R. 10 divided by 10 gives us 1 amp. What is the power? So now using our equation P equals V times I, we have 4I squared R, or V squared over R. Work it out first. So we know we've got 1 amp. So P equals V times I. 10 times 1 gives us 10 watts. So that resistor there, at 10 volts, 
he's actually using 10 watts. And let's just make sure just to show you now how we can just double check our answer by using another power equation. We've got P equals I squared R, which is 1 squared times 10, which gives us 10 watts. And finally, V squared over R, we've got 10 squared, which is 100 over 10, which gives us 10 watts. So it doesn't really matter which equation we use, we will get the same, we'll get the answer. But it's good to have a, an alternative just to check your answer. Okay, we've now got 20 volts. And remember before, if we increase the voltage, we increase the current. Voltage has gone up by 2. Current has also gone up by 2. We say that's directly proportional because they've both gone up at the same rate. But what about power? Did power go up by 2 or down by 2 or maybe up by a different value? Let's have a look at it. So P equals V times I. Now, have a think about this. We've doubled the voltage, which means we've doubled the current. If we've doubled the voltage, double the current, then the power is going to go up by how much do you think? it's gone to 40 watts. So it went from originally from 10 watts up to 40 watts. That means that power has gone up by how much? Just double check our answers. We've got I squared R, 2 squared times 10 gives us 40. And finally, just one more check, V squared over R, which is 20 squared on 10, still gives us 40. So we're just rechecking our answers again. So at 20 volts, that resistor will be using 40 watts of power. So the voltage went up by 2, the current's gone up by 2, the power went up by, went from 10 watts to 40 watts, so it's gone up by 4 times. Now, that's now no longer directly proportional, but it is proportional. It is proportional voltage, but not directly proportional because it's gone up by 4 times. Double voltage, double current, we actually the power goes up 4 times. Okay, this time we've, the resistance has increased to 20 ohms, which gives us half an amp of current. Remember, half an amp is also equal to 500 milliamps. So resistance has gone up by 2, current has gone down by 2. And it's known as inversely proportional, but what about the power? Has it gone up or down? So let's work it out. P equals V times I, we have now 10 times half of what we've got now. 5 watts. We can just double check. P equals I squared R. And we've got 0.5 squared times 20. And again, that gives us 5 watts. And just to check one more time, by using another equation, we have V squared over R. It's 10 squared divided by 20. gives us 5 watts. So just showing you again, we can use any of those equations and we'll get the same answer. So the question is, resistance has gone up by 2, current has gone down by 2, power has gone from 10 watts down to half to 5 watts. So it's also gone down by 2. So power is now proportional, inversely proportional. And that concludes our presentation. So that on this one here we've learnt, if we double voltage, we double current, power goes up by 4. If we increase resistance, power goes down. We've also seen there's a few different methods of working out power. And we've noticed that in a circuit, any device that converts energy from one source to another uses power. Have a look around your house at different devices and anything that's using power or converting energy will have a power rating. Okay, until next time, we'll see you then. Okay, bye for now.